Hey there, Tornado Twins here, and welcome back. Uh, it's time to make our turret shoot at our uh, worm and um, in our awesome Worminator game. But let me point something out really quick in our game right now that I feel gameplay-wise is extremely unfair. If you look at our um, worm and as he walks around, the turret looks directly and straight at him. So that means every time the turret will shoot, he will have a direct hit, which is uh, completely unfair because a turret is usually a mechanical device, and you know uses sensors to find movement. So it has it needs some time to actually find you. So actually half, if not more, of the rounds fired should be a miss, uh, which makes the game a lot more fair and a little easier to beat. So to do that, let's go back into our script and look at the head of our turret. And as you can see in the script, it is very simple. Every update function, which is called every time the engine renders a frame, which could, could be around 100 times a second, it directly sets the look at uh, rotation to look at our target. So it will always be a hit, very unfair. So to solve that, what I'm going to introduce here is rotation damping. And what that means is the rotation um, is going to be a bit slower. So that way you have, if you run really fast, the turrets will miss, but as soon as you stop and not move around much, you become a sitting duck at target, so every shot will be a hit. But we may need to make our turret actually rotate slower in order to do that. So, um, but before we add the rotation, let's, let it, let's add a little if statement and make if look at target. Okay, so if this variable is not set, the look at target is not true, then we're not going to rotate our turret because it's only going to give us some errors. So it's just a little safety net to make sure the target is set. Next, let's make a variable and call it variable rotate. Um, and now I'm going to introduce something that has to do with a lot of more of deeper math. But don't worry about it. The math is done by the engine, not by us. The only thing we need to do is use the right functions. So type with a capital Q, type quaternion. And uh, this is actually um, deeper math invented in 1800 or something, uh, which looks at points in 3D space. Um, but it's not important right now. So go quaternion dot look rotation. And what this does is we, we feed it two positions, two vector 3 variables. And then the look rotation will... Um, um, see what the difference is between those two and basically knows the rotation um, of, of um, these from based from these two points in space so first one that we need is to give it the rotation of our target so look at target dot position which returns our vector 3 variable as explained in the previous videos minus our transform dot position of our turret. All right, so this is just saving the rotation needed in our variable. Um, so it doesn't do the rotation yet, so we still need to do that. So next type transform dot rotation, which is the rotation of our turret, and we apply another quaternion function, but this time slurp slurp, um, which is what this one does is it takes three variables one two and three and uh, the first one is our current rotation transform dot rotation the second one is the rotation that we just saved here our rotate variable so the difference between two points in space and uh, basically the slurp function looks at our current rotation the rotation that is needed and then it's going to rotate it over the time that we specify. So we want that to damp a little bit. We want that to be slower. So, so <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Let's type time dot delta time and make sure that delta time, the T is with a capital, multiplied by a damping variable, damp, that we still need to make up top here, damp. Um, and let me explain really quick what time dot delta time is. Is is basically the difference, the time that has passed since the engine has rendered one frame and to the next one. So since some fast computers can draw up to 100 frames a second, this number would be very, 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 very small, microscopically small. And then multiplied by our damping variable, 
um, which is uh, basically a made up number I don't know exactly how fast it will be um, but let's set it to 6.0 um, save it and let's see what it does right now it's only applied to this third right here so the second one will have our changes actually that's not right the script is attached to both and I have a couple script errors here um, okay this is not spelled right this needs to be transform sorry about that let's save it and no more errors let's play this again okay the rotation is still pretty fast let's make that number that damp number a lot smaller how about one and as you can see this one the second one has a lot slower of a rotation than the other one this looks very turd like very cool I like this maybe just a tad smaller 0 0.5 let me add that to that second turret as well 0 0.5 let's run this game and now that's awesome right you can imagine that if you have an entire set of uh, oh this one is very slow there's one of them it's really slow did I do this right let's just set it to one if you set a full corridor or hallway of turrets and you run right through that all miss that make for a very fun game okay this looks a lot better awesome alright next let's make our turret shoot now shooting should not be that complicated by now because we've already done that for our main character if I focus on the worm real quick remember we added a spawn point right in front of the character so uh, we can do that again for the turret We'll use a spawn point to shoot phone. Let me just uh, delete one of these turrets just so that I don't get confused about which one I'm working on. Um, and next, um, let's add an empty game object. Just go game object, create empty. Um, let's call this one spawn point also. And move that as a part of the top part of our turret. Now as soon as you do that it will say hey you're going to lose the prefab connection that's fine we'll make a look prefab later out of this. Um, let's make sure we place it correctly though so let's go from the side view here make sure it's right in front of the barrel and from the top view that seems pretty okay. Perfect. Next uh, for the scripting part let's open up our turret control script and let's start adding some code. 